Yes, I'm a gunnery sergeant, but I teach staff sergeants. Being the chief faculty advisor here at the career school, I have the ability to influence and assist you know, my fellow instructors in being able to realize that, yes, a gunnery sergeant is one step above a staff sergeant, but at the end of the day, the staff NCO Corps itself is nothing but a peer group. And so once we understand that we're essentially training our own replacements and we're, we're preparing them to step up into our ranks and be even more successful than ourselves, then it gives us a deeper level of understanding and buy-in to influence in the ways that the institution and the organization that is the Marine Corps needs them to go. Talked about, you know, as a staff NCO, we no longer have the excuse when we're talking to our people and saying, oh, well, that's what they decided. Who was they? Because we are that, yeah. right? Yeah. Gunnar Fisher, he had this, uh, this saying, all right, either you're going to be a, a victim or you're going to be a survivor. And what that means is there's a lot of individuals in the Marine Corps, they have a victim mentality. And that mentality, they kind of push on other individuals and it turns into toxic leadership. He taught us to, to switch that, hey, you're not a victim of whatever you go through. Be a survivor, be that positive influence that you have on the Marines around you. Um, Gunnar Strom Fisher would preach that almost every single day and it honestly instilled with us a, a beast or survivor mentality when it comes to this course. As faculty advisors, we're here and we have our own experience, our own knowledge that we're able to bring to the class. And one thing that I was not necessarily expecting or, or prepared for at the time was the fact that I can have anywhere from 20 to 55, maybe 60 students that are giving me their combined experience as well. So it offers an opportunity for me to grasp a better understanding of the entire MAGTAF, all the different opportunities that are out there in the Marine Corps, just the full gambit of, of military experience and I get to bring in that extra expertise or that extra experience from past students to make sure that I'm able to assist and mentor or guide the students down towards a path where they can gain a better understanding of what they're here for. For me being a staff NCO really just comes down to it's kind of a, a two-tiered system. Uh, on one hand, you are there to be the example for the other enlisted members, for junior Marines, uh, to be the umbrella, the subject matter expert, and to help kind of guide and, and shape the way that they grow in their career and their future. Uh, and then on the uh, second side of that, it's also being able to properly support the commander, uh, the command staff, being able to really bring a full, well-rounded set of capabilities to that command. Uh, to best fill the mission, and then being able to bridge those mission sets, the mission essential tasks for the unit, the commander, uh, and communicate that, articulate that down to the junior uh, Marine level so that they understand what their purpose is and how to best support the unit. In, in the following cycle, he was going to end up becoming a part of a new team, right? Uniquely here, you can find a daily sense of self-satisfaction. Right. Uh, every single day that you come in here, you're teaching a class, you're leading some kind of group discussion, or you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a Marine, and you're developing them, you're leading them, you're influencing them, and you're, you're leaving a lasting impact on the students that are here. Um, and every, every single day you understand what your purpose is. Right? That purpose may differ from day to day, but you have a purpose, and it's going to be dictated by those students that you're, you're in front of.